welcome children today we will discuss about significance of a molecular formula in the last video we have discussed about the language of chemistry the introduction the chemical reaction the reactant the products next we have discussed about elements of symbol what is an element what is meant by the term symbol next we have discussed about valency next variable valency some elements with variable valencies we have discussed that copper cupra silver argentas we have discussed about radical basic radical acidic radical and the most important part the writing of the chemical formula molecular formula of a compound and we have cited an example for water and for aluminum sulfate but how to write but today we will start about significance of molecular formula molecular formula of a compound give us different informations it represents one molecule of a compound for example a molecule of potassium carbonate is represented by k2co3 it gives us the name of the constituent elements for example for this case potassium carbon and oxygen are present so potassium carbonate is made up of potassium atom carbon atom and oxygen atom it gives us the number of atoms or the ratio of the atoms of different elements present in a molecule so for example here k2co3 so that means number of atoms potassium is to carbon is to oxygen will be your 2 is to 1 is to 3 so it gives the ratio of atoms present there are some examples of writing of the your chemical formula for example hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfate look at this first hydrogen sulfide the elements present hydrogen and sulfur we have learned about criss cross method valencies are given here one two so after this crisscross method you have obtained that molecular formula will be h2s next we'll try more about some sodium hydroxide start sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide and the symbol of sodium in a hydroxide is the radical now its valency is 1 its valency also 1 so after crisscross cross method it will go there it will come here so that means it will come at one it will come at one therefore its molecular formula will be n a o h sodium hydroxide next zinc chloride let us start another example of zinc chloride zinc chloride so here zinc Zn 
chloride come from the radical cl it will be plus 2 or you can omit that sign plus or minus so definitely it will come here it will go there now it becomes 1 but it becomes 2 so therefore its molecular formula will be Z N C L 2 let's take an another example in your book it is written that iron 3 phosphate it is written like this way iron they have given a roman symbol you have learned about this stock notation 3 3 signifies that this is ferric iron 3 phosphate now this iron this is your f e phosphate sorry now this is your iron you have to write fe rear plus 3 phosphate po4 minus 3 so it will directly go po4 will come at fe since the common factor is 3 so its molecular formula will be f e p o4 but if it is calcium phosphate so what will be the molecular formula of calcium phosphate calcium c a phosphate p o 4 now it will be minus 3 it will be your plus 2 so after crisscross of this method it will become c a 3 p o 4 will be a radical and in the last video we have discussed about that you have to enclose this uh, radical the complex radical within a bracket and you have to write this so the ratio of calcium is to phosphorus is to oxygen will be equal to calcium is 3 phosphorus 2 and oxygen 8 so by writing the formula of the chemical compound you can easily obtain that ratio of that atoms there are some several examples are given in your book calcium nitrate NO3 calcium carbonate look at this there is a common factor 2 and it will be cancelled so it will become CaCO3 now in your book in science budge there is a term empirical formula the simplest types of chemical formula are called empirical formula which indicate the numerical proportions of each type of atoms in a molecules and they have cited an examples of glucose atom we will try this glucose atom now simplest formula is so what it's glucose
and the formula of this glucose is C6 H 12 O 6 so now carbon is to hydrogen is to oxygen will be equal to 6 is to 12 is to 6 so the common factor is 6 and in the simplest case be equal to 1 is to 2 is to 1 therefore simplest formula that means your empirical formula this empirical formula of this glucose will be equal to C H 2 O since the simplest number here the 1 then the 2 then the 1 1 is to 2 is to 1 so this is the empirical formula of glucose and this is the molecular formula of glucose this one is the molecular formula of glucose it is simply the molecular formula the molecular formula of the glucose and this is the empirical formula of the glucose so that means in your book it is cited that for example empirical formula of glucose is CH2O which simply indicates that there are twice as many of hydrogen as carbon and oxygen so molecular formula tells the exact combinations of atoms how many atoms are present for example in glucose there are actually the six carbon atom are present 12 hydrogen atom are present and six oxygen atom are present but in empirical formula from empirical formula you will observe only the simplest ratio from empirical formula one carbon two hydrogen and one oxygen so these are the significance of your chemical formula